Good morning everyone. Welcome to the morning devotion praying through the psalms. My friends, today we are praying Psalm 128. This is a song of ascents. In other words, this is a song of a pilgrim or pilgrims on their way to God's temple in Jerusalem. Beautiful song indeed. We must know that all people of Israel would go to God's temple in Jerusalem on three important festivals during the year the feast of passover the feast of pentecost and the feast of tabernacles these three festivals are very important for all jews therefore all people of israel all the jews would travel toward jerusalem and offer their sacrifices to god in the temple of jerusalem and during their travel they would sing one of these songs as they go to god's temple and the song is known as song of ascents means the psalm of a pilgrim well coming to this psalm this psalm speaks of god's blessings on those people who fear god god's blessings on the families on the household who has the fear of god beautiful song This psalm has six verses in it and the first four verses are addressed to man the head of the family in Jewish culture and tradition we begin the psalm now blessed are all who fear the lord and who walk in his ways beautiful here the psalmist announced that god would bless all people of israel if they fear the lord if they walk in his ways my friends we need to know and understand that god would not only bless the people of israel he would bless all people across the globe if they fear him if they search his ways if they truly worship him if they try to walk in all sincerity in his ways his love and blessings would go beyond cultures regions languages sects status and gender and all that that is how god verse 2 what your hands provide you will enjoy beautiful you will be blessed and prosper the psalmist is talking to the man what your hands provide you will enjoy the man who fears the lord will enjoy the fruit of his labor sometimes it's not so those people who disobey the lord those people who don't follow god's ways they may work day and night and still they may not be able to enjoy their 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 hard labor god doesn't bless them they will be wondering what's happening we try so much we are working so hard nothing nothing's bears fruit yes there are no god's blessings obviously so those people who fear the lord those people who serve the lord those people who walk in his ways god will bless those people there is a lot of prosperity there is so much of blessing in them in in their in their life verse 3 your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your home as the grapes give wine the same way the wife will be fruitful in the sense the wife will bear fruit the wife will give children to the man beautiful analogy you are children like young olive plants around the table beautiful here yeah. all your plants fruitful wine is a symbol of prosperity and blessing therefore a man who fears the lord will be abundantly blessed by good wife and wonderful children just so will the man be blessed who fears the lord again the psalmist confirms that the man who fears the lord will be abundantly blessed by the lord beautiful blessings of god are extended to all people for generations to come that's what we see in verses 5 and 6 may the lord bless you from zion may you see jerusalem's prosperity all the days of your life and live to see your children's children so here those people who fear the lord those people who walk in his ways will not only see the prosperity of jerusalem prosperity in their families but also they would see their children's children that is a special blessing from the lord 
peace upon Jerusalem. The psalmist to close his psalm, wishing peace upon Jerusalem, upon the people of Israel. Beautiful. My friends, here, the psalmist emphasizes the need to fear the Lord, the need to follow God's ways. My friends, we need to fear the Lord. We need to have the awe feeling of the Lord. We need to always walk in God's ways and then He would bless us abundantly. So there is no partiality in God for God. There is no kind of any restrictions for God's blessings. Some people might think God will bless only our sect, our religion or our own kind of community. No, God extends His blessings to all people across the globe. All people who sincerely love Him, who sincerely seek His ways will be abundantly blessed by the Lord. So let us be in that category. Let us follow the Lord. Let us fear the Lord and be abundantly blessed by Him. With all these, with all these thoughts, we now pray Psalm 128. Blessed are all who fear the Lord and who walk in His ways. What your hands provide you will enjoy. You will be blessed and prosper. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your home. Your children like young olive plants around your table. Just so will the man be blessed who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see Jerusalem's prosperity all the days of your life and live to see your children's children. Peace upon Israel. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, O powerful God, O God who created heaven and earth and all that is in this universe, thank you, Lord, praise you, Lord, and we bow down before you. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful time. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful, precious Psalm 128. The psalmist acclaims you, O Lord, as powerful. The psalmist advocates people to have the fear of you, O Lord. Give us, O Lord, bless us with that gift, the fear of you. May we never take your name for granted, O Lord. Help us to have that great reverence for your name. Cleanse us. Purify us. Take us out of this darkness, O Lord. As we come to know the truth, as we see your power and glory, lead us, O Lord, to that glory. We'd like to be with you, finally. Bless us. Show us the way, O Lord. Bless all your people, O Lord, who watch this program. Bless them. Bless their homes, near and dear ones. May no one be lost, O Lord. You want everyone to be saved. Bring back all those people, O Lord, all who are away from you for different reasons. Bring them back to your fold once again. Let them have the taste of the love. Give us peace and joy in our hearts. Give us that courage and perseverance to always follow you. Bless our nation. Bless our homes. Bless our neighborhood. Bless all your 
all our near and dear ones, especially those people who misunderstand us, who try to disturb us, who try to really hate us, change their hearts. Help them, O Lord, in their difficulty. Once again, use us for your glory and may we always stay closer to you. Bring us near to you, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Let us have the fear of the Lord and be blessed abundantly. Thank you for watching our program, Praying Through the Psalms. Kindly stay tuned to JCKU Creations to watch our program both on Facebook page and YouTube channel. You may also spread your word about this program with your friends and other people. They could be part of this and benefit as well. Thank you again. See you next with Psalm 129. Until then, stay blessed.